So in this video we're going to look at the programming language Python. I thought the best place to start would be to see what Python organizations say about themselves. They consider themselves to be a remarkably powerful dynamic programming language that is used in a variety of application domains, meaning it's used in a variety of different type of applications not dedicated to one sole purpose. They compare themselves to uh, common programming languages such as TLC, Perl, Java and so on, um, putting them up there with the big boys. And um, why do we care about this? Well, we care about it because it's the primary programming language that the Raspberry Pi is, um, I say here, designed to operate on, but it's the one that Raspberry Pi organization is, is wanting people to use as, as a good starting platform for programming. So some of the key features of Python are that it's excellent for beginners and it's also complex enough to be used for experts. So it's very scalable, as it says later on, it says it's a highly scalable platform for large projects as well as small ones. It's portable, so it can work on Mac, Windows, PC, um, Linux. Um, it's embeddable into, into some hardware. It's a uh, simple and elegant to understand programming language, it's not a complex sim syntax. It's um, stable and mature, meaning that you're going to have very few bugs, if any bugs, and it has a large um, standard library of pre-built code and subroutines that you can call on without having to program lots of stuff yourself. There's lots of stuff already pre-built in there for you. So what am I going to show you in this video? I'm going to show you how to get a very simple um, Python program working. I'm going to show you how to get it working via the graphical user interface via the desktop. I'm going to show you how to use it via the CLI. I'm going to show you how um, it links to some great programming tutorial websites. But what I'm not going to be doing in this video is I'm not going to be showing you how to program. So I'll make available a couple of simple programs that you can then execute and run. So what I've done here is I've connected up with um, VNC remote desktop, so this is exactly the same as what you would see if you were using a desktop monitor. And I've also got on my Windows machine a standard um, SSH connection through PuTTY. So, first thing I'm going to show you is on the remote desktop, um, or the GUI side of things, the desktop side of things, is if we go down to what's essentially our launch or our start bar, if it was Windows, and we go up to programming, you'll see that we have this Python editor here. Um, this is pre-built on the standard Debian image, so you shouldn't have any problems um, finding or having to install this. So we launch the app application. Okay, so this is our standard uh, Python editor. The very simple parts of this are this box here. What we do is we enter in our source code, so we type in our code in here. And then once we're, we want to execute that code, we want to run that code, we come up to this um, button here and we hit run. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a directory to store our Python code in. So let's create a new folder on our desktop called Python. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write my first piece of Python code which is print hello world and I'm just going to save this file to my desktop under the directory Python, and I'm going to call it hello world.py. So we end all Python scripts py, short for Python. Okay. If I then. Okay, so if I now run that code. Okay, so it's going to ask me here if I want to add any extra arguments. I don't, I just want to click run. What it'll do is it will run that code and it will print hello world to the screen and it will terminate that script. Now how this looks on the command line is pretty much identical. So if we make sure we're in the right directory, so we're in home slash pi slash desktop python and there there's my file called hello world. If I um, sudo nano um, hello world, there's my script. Now how I run this in um, the command line is by doing the following. So 
C type Python, which calls the Python um, interpreter. And then we ask the script we want to run, or we'll give the parameter of the script we want to run. We hit that, and it will print to the screen, hello world. So that is our very, very basic overview of how you start programming. Now, obviously, um, this is the most simple program that you can run. Um, it doesn't get much more simple than this. Okay, so let's open, I've just ported onto my um, Pi a script called now.py I created a little while ago. It's not much more complicated, but let's have a look at it anyway. Okay, so here's a slightly more complicated program. Um, again, it's not a lot more complicated, but it's a little bit more complicated. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, import the date and time. Uh, it's going to um, print out some information about the exact date and time from the date time library. If we click run and run this to the screen, we will show us, it will say, now is the 28th of the 5th, 2012 at... 1436, or more precisely, and then it gives us the exact time, which looks down to the hundred thousands of the second. Again, we can do this via the um, command line, Python now.py, and it will print as that. Okay, so let me have one more script. Good morning. Okay, so you can see here we've got all the three scripts that we've been working on recently. But here's my third one that I've just run. Okay, so what this script is going to do is it's going to create three different variables, a four if you count the last one here, and it's going to store information to those variables. So variable is just a block of memory, and what we do is we'll store an attribute in there. Um, we have an attribute of what we call a string, which is a text, um, and what we can do is we're going to store these three strings, these sets of strings, into these three variables. So for example, um, word one, word two, and word three will become good morning to you too. Then what we're going to do is we're going to print to the screen words one and two. So we should see um, printed to the screen good morning. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add words one, two, and three, plus in the middle these spaces and then we're going to print the variable sentence. So what we should get is we should have a kind of conversation where it says, good morning, and then it should apply good morning to you. So let's try that out. Good morning, good morning to you. And the same we get here on the command line is if I do Python, good morning .py, good morning, good morning to you. Now again, this is an incredibly, incredibly simple set of programming, and I'm not a great programmer, so I'm not the person to teach you. So what I would say is I'm now going to put on the screen a set of um, good websites, tutorials, where I would start and where I would go, and then from there, run through those scenarios, and you'll be able to um, start to learn a little bit more about programming. Okay, so hopefully some of those resources I've just put on that page will be far more helpful in terms of actually teaching you how to program than I am. I'm just here to show you where to start, you know, which applications to launch. Um, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments field of the YouTube channel. And if you have any other further questions um, regarding programming, best speak to a programming expert, not myself. And I hope this video has been of some help.